Good evening and welcome to a video of the subtle difference. Tonight, instead of boring you witless with my adventures with the CNC milling machine, I'm actually just going to say a few words about the collets I use to hold the cutters in the CNC after various people had asked me a few questions about them. What I use are ER collets, like he says, trying to find the camera on the iPad, like this one here, okay? Now the special thing about ER collets is that if you look at them, you'll see how the splits in the collet, the some that come from the tool holder end to almost to the tool end, and the alternating ones goes from the tool end almost the tool holder end, okay? That means, first of all, as opposed to a normal R8 collet, where if you look at it, you'll see the splits only come from the tool end to the tool holder end. There's no splits coming from the other way. That means, with an ER collet, that as you tighten it up, it tightens up much more evenly on the work, okay? It tightens up along its full length. It also means that each ER collet can grip a far broader range of diameters of cutter. With, say, your R8 collets, they'd only be restricted to a particular nominal diameter, say, half inch or three quarters or five mil or whatever, okay? Now, when we're using these collets, we hold them into a tool holder like this, which I have clamped in the vise over here. Incidentally, with this vise, it's got aluminium jaws fitted. I keep one vise in my workshop specifically with just aluminium jaws, purely for holding things like this, where well, you want to grip them, but at the same time you don't want to mar them, okay? This tool holder's on an R8 shank, and it's an ER32 collet, okay? So, what we do is we take our collet, but we also take, as you can see, this closure nut here. Now, what's special about these is, and this is uh, something that I've seen and heard people do, they have a tendency to treat these as you would a traditional collet, that is, pop the collet in and then tighten the nut on top of it. That's incorrect. What the danger is, it'll grip perfectly satisfactorily, but then you'll end up with the collet stuck in the tool holder, unable to get it out. If you look down into that closure nut, you'll see there's an eccentric ring machined into the holder itself, okay? And the trick is to clip the collet into the nut first, like so, okay? You'll see how that collet is now held securely in the nut. You then take it to your tool holder, and now the way I do it, this isn't necessarily the correct way, okay, but this is the way I found easiest to do it, is put it in, just tighten it down finger tight, okay? Then insert your tool, okay? I'm not bothering to inserting, worrying about if I've inserted to a particular depth, okay? I'll sort out the tool um, height offset on the machine later, okay? You then take your C-spanner, like so, again. Apply it to the nut, like so. And then gently tighten it up. Like so, okay. Which point, we now have our tool securely mounted in the collet. We can now put it into the machine, set the height offset, and we're good to go. Okay, thank you, and good night.